on the day when they kidnapped you from the Nova party. When did you realize what's going on? Mm. <laughs> I immediately understood that we are surrounded by terrorists. But that fact that we are going to Gaza, I understood maybe after like five minutes after like we started to drive. Like I was sure that that guy who took us, it's like special unit of Israel and he tried to arrest us. Uh, but uh, like in five minutes after start, I realized that like, we're going to, to Gaza. I tried to understand like what can we do right now, but there is no way to do something. He has gun, he has Kalashnikov, he has... And when you enter Gaza, what do you see? We saw a lot of people. After the wall, we saw a lot of people who, they were really happy, they were like with savage faces. <laughs> they were like... Ah, ah. They tried to get inside of the car, they start to lit fog. And, uh, and I, without t-shirt, like hold the handle of the car, like this, and we are surrounded by them. In this condition, you, like, you don't have any understanding what's going on. Like, you understand what's going on, but why? Why me? You've been in the same place the entire time? No, we were in the seven places. And seven places? Yes, and, and the last one were in, like, from this middle of the December and uh, until the day when we were arrested by IDF. And every place that you've been to, it was a, f a place of a family or different places? We didn't visit some tunnels, we were not underground, so we just heard about this and uh, some of our guards uh, told us that oh, we will we will take you and we will bring you underground so don't do mistakes like you had be, be good prisoners what does it mean to be a good prisoner don't do mistake don't run away don't try to do something bad just live with us just exist and in this place and we will try to treat you good what does it mean try to treat you good what does treat good looks like <laughs> it looks like um, we will not hit you we will not punish you we will uh, like even talk with you and uh, maybe play cards with you. So like, if you want this, don't do something bad. When you were in uh, places with families, when you were separate from the families, did you did you ever have the chance to to see them? To see them, to speak with them? No, no. Uh, in the last place, it was from the middle of December. We knew that we live with some family, and uh, only one door separate us from them. But we didn't see nobody. And we understood that probably like two children, maybe three, uh, two like men and women, maybe some uh, guests who came to this place. And probably everybody knew that hostages uh, are there. We are there. And they knew who we are. Did you know your guards? The, the guards were the same guards the entire time? No. Uh, for this time we met maybe 30 guards and uh, some of them they had uh, masks and some of them uh, they didn't care at all and they like with no mask they just uh, told them told us that uh, everybody for us will be Muhammad so like every guard in the last place where they were Muhammad's and we just add like some second name like Muhammad tall Muhammad medium Muhammad big like Muhammad Muhammad well, we were able to talk, but really, uh, right. really, really no, like, Belagish, absolutely. Like, and if they, I mean, guards, hear that we spoke spoke loud, they like, ah, talk low, talk low. <laughs> and uh, eight months, Belagish. They showed us a lot of videos how they shoot from RPG to the the Baba, the Baba, it's tank, Merkava. And they they show you videos how they are shooting at Israeli tanks? Yes, yes. They try to make us afraid of them and they, they were really proud to show these videos. And uh, of course, we were really scared about this. In my mind, I imagined how like somebody with mask start to... And we... And we are dead. We got used to everything, like to, to think about... Uh, maybe we can die. Maybe they will kill us. Maybe something wrong will happen. Maybe like anything can happen. And you already like we got used to every to everything. 
two bombs, two terrorists with, without faces, they were in masks, two Kalashnikov, two RPG that uh, near our mattresses, two grenades, two big bombs. They told us that uh, if somebody will come to rescue us, they will kill us. And uh, you don't have choice not to get used to this. Like, Did they threat that they will kill you? Uh, some of them, they told us, yes, if uh, Israel army will come, we will kill you. And like, don't think that we, we will stay alive. Like, five seconds after start and we will... Terrorists told us that um, Israel gonna kill us because we are like, like a problem for them. And uh, every day we need to, to, th to think opposite. Like, no, no, I don't believe in this. No, no, no. It can't be like this. But they they didn't stop. Huh? Two Israelis died. Huh? One died. Huh? Three died. We don't have medicine for you. If you have some pro if you have some serious problems with your health, we can't help you. And every day, like I need I need to be healthy. I need to keep my mind clean. I need to be healthy. I need to be healthy. Like I don't need this problem. I need to come back. I need to come back. My mother, father, brother, like everybody, my family, girlfriend, friends, like everybody is waiting for me. I have a duty to come back. Every day you think about your death. I had like mantra for all these days in Gaza. I repeat like almost every day uh, three words like Abaita. Bechaim, Bari Vishalem. Like Abaita. It's in Russian, sounds like Zhivim Zdorovim and Nivridimum. And you repeat Zhivim Zdorovim and Nivridimum. Zhivim Zdorovim and Nivridimum. Damoy, 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 Damoy. Sivodnia, Damoy. Ayom, Abaita. Ayom, Abaita. You just pray to. understand what's going on in the day of the rescue they came and uh, a lot of soldiers are already inside of our place and they started to ask us our names and uh, to check is everybody in this place uh, and when somebody came to me and in Russian language asked me like my name and he explained me like you will go with me two meters like behind two meter like maximum two meters and we will rescue you will go home today. In the evening, you will be home in time. Okay, yalla, let's do it. First seconds, I was really afraid. After, I was full of hope. And to see a lot of soldiers who were really happy about that they do for us, I saw a lot of, a lot of smiles. Like, everybody of them, they shaked our hands, like, they tried to keep us calm, like, everything is okay, do you need something, do you need chips, do you need Coca-Cola? <laughs> and of course, like, yes, give me Coca-Cola, <laughs> we didn't drink Coca-Cola for eight months. And uh, they, are, they are heroes, like, I'm not a hero, they are heroes. Also, Arnold Mora, he's my personal hero. If you could tell Arnon something, what would it be? To Arnon, there is no word. Like, there is no word to express my feeling. Like, I don't have words. Like, thankfully, it's not enough. And I'm really thankful to IDF. You are heroes. You are heroes. Thank you very much. In that day, I was full of emotions. It was a condition of highest level of adrenaline, and like you, you just came from there by helicopter, by by tanks, like you know, like it's on video. And like it was like three hours ago. Three hours ago, I didn't expect that we will be rescued. I was sure that we will come back. I will, we will release, like in half of the year, like at least. And now I'm here. I can do like. You see all of them. Wow! Wow! See, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And uh, I was afraid that when parents will come to me, I will not find any words to to express what they felt all this time.
I can't complain, like, I can complain, yeah, but uh, I don't want to do this, like, unfortunately for some of hostages who are still there, unfortunately for 1,200 people who was, who were murdered, I'm here, I'm, I'm lucky, what can I say, I'm lucky.